everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce hunt this is Rohit and today I'm going to show you the toast notification framework for the LWC so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end because it's very most important for us if you are a working on LWC developer so you have to know these things and uh, you can get some knowledge from my site as well right so let's get started without any further delay so what is toast notification first of all so toast is a pop-up that alert user with some information and toast can be of success error info or warning based on your need you can use it like this right and toast notification having lots of you know properties message data mod and something like that right so message data is nothing but a url and label values that replace the index placeholder in the message string and mode uh, determines how persist the toast notification valid values area let's say dismissible paste and sticky like this right so le let me move into my vs code and let me create one component that is called uh, toast notification right so once you create your component just you have to do one thing here first of all let me explain to you the simple way to use this toast notification then I will move or I will show you this uh, toast message as a reusable component or we can say that as a framework component you can use over all your project framework right so how to do that let me show you here so first of all you have to import like sort event this one right so import sort toast event from lightning slash platform sort toast event right so this is the module you have to import it right once you import it then you can use it this sort uh, source toast event in your uh, you know code and it's a very easy let me tell you one thing let me design first HTML under this HTML let me add a card right so under this card let me remove unwanted markup from here and under this card I need to add like uh, some you know like uh, padding around medium and something like that you can use any design as you want but for now I'm using one button here you can see this one right like lightning button level so toast or something like that and this is the handler right so let me copy this handler and paste it into my JS file right so here this JS file and let me show you the performance this toast how to use it right so first of all you have to create the event like this like const evt equals to new sort toast event it is coming from this module and uh, title success matches this one and variant success and you have to dispatch this event so this is the simple you know toast message right and uh, once you've done it now you can use it in anywhere as you want right so let me show you the output first of all this one so let me save it and also save it and let me change the mark uh, to configuration file make it as a visible for all pages let's say target I need this target from lightning record page app page and home page right so let me deploy this component and let's see this is working or not once you see this is working then we can migrate this code or uh, this component into the framework so how to do that you will be wait for some time first of all you have to understand the basic concept of this you know uh, toast and then we will move slowly into the advanced you know toast message framework right so let me do that one thing here just once you deploy it now you have to open your org and you can use it this component inside any page as any record page right so just click on this edit page and once you clicked on this edit page now immediately you can see the app builder page inside this app builder page you can drag and drop your component inside this area this is the visual editor right so under the custom you have to drag and drop your component from left to right so we have to t uh, check our component is toast so let's see where it is toast notification just drag and drop anywhere as you want let's say here and click on this save button just go back or oh, let me save it first now you can see this save successfully just go back and once you go back then you have to click on this button and you will be see this like so toast just click on this so toast immediately you can see the success right 
your record has been created saved successfully something like that right so this is our default behavior of this toast right so how to make it like another like error and something like that so you can use it same thing based on your need let's say let me create another button here so just if you don't know these things let me tell you the quick fix about this SLDs because we need to fix it this uh, design token right so once you've done it now let me copy this one and it's say like a success uh, let me change the level of the button success and this is the error like error and let me take a toss like handle so toast one let me create this event inside our you know js file and here is this one here and you can use it like this error right so let me deploy this code and let's see the error so green green means success or error means red so you can easily identify based on the toast message so here just let me refresh this page and you will be see the two toast messages right and after that I will show you the framework how to create the toast framework so now you can see the success and error right so just click on this error you will be see the red here right this is the error click on this success you can see the success or also you can change the variant of this button so be, um, better understanding purpose so let me change the variant of this button so you can use like variant right so variant it can be anything let's say success right success and another button you can use like variant and success is correct now so let me remove it let me use this one and deploy it so now guys you can see the success and error color change based on the variant so success is green you once you click on this you can see the toast message and after six seconds it's automatic disappear right and error as well same process for the error as well right so once you've done it now you have to create your you know framework so how to create the framework very simple so you have to go to the uh, js file under this js file you can create common method let's say so toast right so toast or you can create anything as you want let's say so toast and under here you have to pass the three parameter one is title and message and variant right so once you've done it now you can see the uh, my common method for all right so once you've done it you can use it like this also no need worry about if you have some same property like title title so you uh, no need worry about to pass the same property again and again you can leave it like uh, title as well right like title message if you have like same property in js so this is the rule in js you can uh, you can provide or based on your need you can not provide right so both are equal don't worry it's a, it's a nothing to worry about these things right so once you've done it you have to do one thing here i already passed some here you can see the hard coded values right title message and variant these hard coded values right so how to make it this dynamic very simple if you have like common method just you have to replace these all hard coded value inside your you know like toast right so just you have to do one thing here remove everything in this method and use this dot right this dot so toast and now you can see three parameters right same thing you can remove line of codes you can see lots of line uh, removed from here because this is the best practice to write your toast for the common functionality for all right make it generic your component so here you can see the success and error right so once you've done it now you have to do one thing here again right so let me tell you like warning info you can use it like warning info as well so let me add here let's say more button let's say warning warning info right and make it like a different methods for each and everyone right and make it like uh, like a standard or variant you can check out the variant here let me show you the variant how to check out so lwc once you type like button you can see the variant 
like inverse success brand something like that right so let's say inverse I need this inverse so just copy it paste it here or like a brand you can make it this brand as well based on your need you can use it it's not a hardcore rule right it's uh, up to you so once you've done it just let me save it and just define these all method inside your JS so my method here like handle to under here just here you can see the warning right this is the warning second one and last one is for info so let me add the info as well here and now you can see the info here right so just let me save it and let me deploy this co component and this is the framework you can create one method like as a sort of message right and you can use this around of you know this component otherwise another component and you can see that this is the generic because of we already make it this method as a command and you can pass this method inside your you know events and pass the parameter based on your parameter it's automatic so it the close so let me deploy it again and let me show you how to use it let's see right so once you've done it so now here to refresh it and let's see it's working or not right so let's see here so you can see uh, success error warning info right something like that so you can go ahead here let's say lightning design system lightning design system you can check the button club right so just click on this lightning design system search button and you can see the button here and now you can see that uh, this is success destructive everything right so based on your need you can use it okay so let's say like brand I want to use the brand instead of you know this one that is called inverse so let me use the brand here brand and also you can use it based on your need like standard standard also be uh, you know the variant of this button so let me deploy this one based on your need you can change it it's not a big deal right so just deploy it and just go ahead here refresh it and let's see so just refresh it here now you can see the success error brand info right Some, uh, something like that so just you have to click on each and every button let's see this one is a green let me click on this error warning and info you can see each and every color here in the toast right let me click again and you can see the differentiate success error warning info okay so you will be see the info here right this one so based on your need you can use it in your project and this is a uh, toast framework and let me show you one thing how to pass the dynamic things like message data so you can pass this message data let me show you this is a very most important nowadays right so here just let me show you the common method here and after variant you can pass like message data like message message data and this message data contain the uh, like array under this array we have to pass like this right like salesforce.com and label something like that and how to use it, this I will show you here right so once you created these things now you have to do one thing under the success or any kind of button as you have so under the success you have uh, this one your record has been saved instead of this one you can make it dynamically based on your placeholder so under here you have to pass like zero is the first uh, you know place and under here uh, you have to uh, use another things that is called account created after account created and you have to pass this one so this is the index of this placeholder so here you will be see this kind of index I will show you here once we deploy here you will be see the differentiate right so just deploy it and once you deploy it you will be check your output here right 
so under here you will visit salesforce account so salesforce is nothing but it's a kind of you know like a label in one place and the second one is the link here you can see right based on your requirement you can use it so once you deploy it just go ahead here and just refresh it and let's see what happened so under here once you refresh it under the success just click on success now you can see the salesforce.com account created right so once you click on the salesforce.com immediately it's automatic redirect that particular website here you can see the salesforce right so this is the one thing here right so you can use it like this so this is the salesforce or uh, click here based on your requirement you can uh, change it right so first let me tell you the sequence so first is a url i already uh, pasted here but uh, let me add some here let's say first index always comes like uh, static things let's say salesforce like salesforce right so it's a salesforce and com uh, salesforce and comma that is correct right and uh, please observe this zero index always refer this salesforce and uh, you know uh, the one index always comes you know uh, this uh, url behind the scene right like let's say this this is the level of this url so always comes like zero index is salesforce and one index always comes the salesforce.com behind this url so let me save it and let me deploy these things so once you deploy it let's see so here just deploy it and uh, under the org just let me refresh it and let me show you the difference here right so just you have to refresh it click on this success please observe salesforce is the zero index and salesforce.com is the one index once you click on this one it's automatic redirect that particular website if you have like a record so you can navigate that particular record page and if you have like external url you can use it like that okay so guys i hope you learn something new in this video if you learn new things in this video please subscribe my youtube channel please like share and comments and please hit the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of updates from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching